Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Third Coast Kings. We love the fact that you are here right now. Get ready to get down, because it's been a long week. And now, we are all here together. Don't get it wrong, don't get it twisted. Friday night, let's get lifted. I know you're all standing around, but by the time we're done, I want to see y'all having some disco fun. I had a few different bands that I had been working on, and um, I guess I sort of realized that there was a certain type of music that I was I was getting closer to, and it's something that was more meaningful to me, and that was funk music. It was it was more like a subgenre of the deep funk, the deep soul, stuff like that. And uh, I started looking around on the internet, and I I ended up finding a bass player, and uh, my guitar player was Steve, who's actually now the bass player. So. We put the band together and it was a few different things, um, a few different names. We were the Monarchs, we were Styles Davis. So we eventually settled down on, on the Third Coast Kings, which was where we got serious. And uh, we decided that this was going to be the thing that, you know, we, we would launch to, to the public. Well, I love the feeling of it. I guess, I mean, you could call that the soul of it or the groove or something like that, but I just, I think um, it makes you feel good, it makes you want to move. What this band is as if James Brown during the years 1968 and 1975 had maybe a little bit more jazzy horn sections. The charts are almost a little more slice of bebop and big band jazz um, with a drummer that's playing at a little different tempo than the James Brown songs. My direction was um some of the old school funk stuff, some of the obscure stuff. It's something that's it's got a lot more power to it, it's got a lot of uh, feeling to it, and it's harder to find. So there were a lot of DJs that were digging up these records, you know, looking for this deep funk sound. And, uh, you know, once I locked into that and started following what they were doing, that's where I discovered our sound. Spice. Yeah. See, a tidal wave of Monet's when you caress my face and my camera love your skin tone, so I even love your cell phone. Call me, I'm gonna simulate the making of waves, cause you're so special. I mean, it came from soul music, it came from Motown, and at the same time, there were so many other bands, the, you know, in the big sea of things, there are all these little fish that are trying to compete for the same sound. And uh, the stuff that we try to recreate are those little fish. It's, you know, track eight, side two of an album they own, but they didn't hear it more than the first time. So it's like, oh, wow. And so I, I guess a lot of our songs that we write that are ours, um, we try to have that, oh, wow. Factor. I'm winning so much in this. Forward in life. I'm the best. You just ain't never seen. Take a deep breath. Don't be so mean. We're, we're a funk band and we do funk music, you know. We don't dally and a whole lot of other stuff. It's deep funk, you know. And people get it, you know, when they when they hear us. And honestly, as complicated as my life is sometimes, it's, it's, it's nice to be like, this is what it is. It's one thing that we do. You can focus on that. It's all got to have a foundation. It's like a house for us. It's, um, it always starts with me and my bass player. We come up with some grooves. From there, once we have something that we like, we'll record it and then send it off to the horn players and they write on top of that. I just play the rhythm that I know is, uh, is the right sound, it's the right fit. And then uh, I leave the guys to the rest. You know, we interact, you know, it's all, it's a nice creative process. You know, we'll spend time in the think tank and um, it always works out. You don't see a lot of bands with that many people in them. We've got, you know, guitar, bass, drums, Trumpet, trombone, saxophone, two singers, so eight people. I think it's a it's a simple sound. It's very you have um, the horns, which have a very specific kind of sound, and then the driving rhythm section. Um, and I think we try to 
We really try to make our music as simple as possible and kind of strip down to the style. I think that's where the deep funk comes in, is that it's, it's really supposed to be just about that, that groove at the center of it all. Now imagine! You are in a 1982 Cutlass Supreme! And you are driving down Woodward in Detroit, Michigan. You take a right-hand turn on West Grand Boulevard. And you see the home of Motown. That's what this song is. Well, we are influenced by Detroit a lot. Our, our, our upcoming album, um, you know, we've got some song titles on there about Detroit, West Grand Boulevard, Mayors of Detroit. I mean, the, the heritage of Detroit, the music is, is huge, you know, so it's very inspiring, you know, in that regard, and there's a lot, there's a lot of good funk. What this song is all about. I think musically, Detroit's got an incredibly deep musical history. So, I mean, for me, it's something that's very special to be a part of it in some way and somehow try to continue that history that's there. Um, I think we have a huge responsibility to try to represent Detroit in the best way we can. In fact, to me, if we say we lived anywhere in Michigan, called ourselves a funk band, and didn't try to play in Detroit, then that's a penalty, that's a personal foul. If you're near Mecca, you go to Mecca. You can go anywhere on this planet and say, we're from Detroit. And people will have to lay down a little bit of respect, whether they've heard you or not. But Detroit has that grit that makes the funk great. Hey, if you wanna get some, you better leave some. If you wanna get some, you better leave some. Music lives on. For us, this kind of music was deeply important. I just want other people to feel that, really. And so if we can play it and some other person will hear it, maybe they don't even know it's funk, but maybe they'll go look up a musician, go, go try to find um, some other music that's like this and keep the, keep the tradition alive. We 